Get ready to dissolve to camera two. Ready to mic and cue him. Dissolve, mic and cue him. Hi, and welcome to Simply Delicious. I'm Jeff Chester. Name him. Today we're going to make roasted red pepper hummus. Lose it. Hummus is a really easy dish to make, so let's get started. All right, we're going to start by just opening one can of garbanzo beans. Can you take camera uh, hummus one. Hummus is a Mediterranean bean dip. It's basically, it's kind of like the Mexican version, except instead of pinto beans and black beans, we're going to start with these garbanzo beans. It gives it a really different flavor. All right, now we're just going to drain about half a liquid from the garbanzo beans into our bowl over here and pour these into our food processor. Take camera two. Okay, now we're going to take about two to three tablespoons of tahini paste. It's basically kind of like peanut butter except made with sesame seeds instead of peanuts. Take camera one. Just take about two tablespoons. Not real necessary to get it exact. Take right, camera two. About two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Again, just eyeball it. It's not a real big deal. It's not one. baking. Like you have to get everything exact. All right, we're going to get ready to take okay. camera two or cue him to camera All two. Right, now we're going to okay. take a short take break, two. but when we get back, we're going to um, ready to play VDR with sound up. And put everything together. We'll see you in a few. Play VDR, dissolve. Nate isn't your average dog, and Robert isn't your average dog. Okay, we're going to come back on camera two. Robert's so, right leg is paralyzed. Just make sure you're ready for that. That makes it hard for him to do ordinary tasks around the house. We're dissolving. Yes. Thank you. That's where Nate comes in. <laughs> Nate picks up trash. Closes hard to reach drawers. And even helps out with the Did you kill his bike? Thank you. The only problem? Because of all the training he requires, Nate is a $20,000 dog. Nonprofit organization My Service Dog tries to raise money through their website, but they're hoping that the Texas State and San Marcos community will help out. You can rate it as off to camera too. To make your donation today. Dissolve Mike and Q. Welcome back. Um, we're getting our roasted red pepper hummus together. First, we're going to start by take camera one. peeling our garlic. The easiest way to do this is just place the flat blade of your knife against the garlic and hit it, and that kind of breaks the uh, peel away from it. If you don't do that, it's really sticky, and it's uh, really hard to get the peel off. Then just cut this little end off where it was attached, because that's not good either. And then just give it a real coarse chop. You don't need to do it real fine or anything. The food processor is going to do most of the work. Put this over here. Take camera two. All right, then we're going to take one of our roasted red peppers. You can just buy these at the store. Take camera one. And drain off most of the liquid. Don't want to get that everywhere. Put that on your cutting board. And just again, do a real coarse chop. Not necessary to do anything too fine. Just small enough so you can fit it in the food processor. Good job, camera one. Alright, then the last part, you're just going to need to put a little bit of salt and pepper into it. Don't need to put a whole bunch because you're going to salt and pepper it to taste later once you get it out anyways. Put a little bit of that in there. And we're going to pop on our lid. Take camera one. And pulse it about two to three times just for about 10, second, or 10 seconds total, 15 seconds total. Just until it gets to the right consistency. Take camera two. Look. I'm just going to take this off of here. Take the blade out. Set that. All right, then just right, uh, label this into your, the container that you want to serve it in. And this goes really well with pita chips like I have here. You can buy those at any store, or you can do a fresh pita bread, or even fresh cut vegetables. It goes great with pretty much anything. All right. All right, take camera right, well, two. Thanks for joining us. I hope you get to try this out, this simple recipe, at your next get. You ready to sneak music and under? I'm sneak Jeff music Chester. under. This has been simply delicious. And camera two, start fading out a little bit, zooming out. All right, fade to black. That's the wrap. Incoming Texas State students who want to live on campus will now be required to receive a bacterial meningitis vaccine before they can get a room. It does not apply 
to everyone who is currently living with us, only those students who will be coming into Texas State and moving on campus as a new resident for this academic year. A state law requires students at all higher education institutions to get the vaccine in order to live on campus. Texas State Department of Housing and Residential Life says the vaccine is necessary because meningitis can be very dangerous. In cases where um, individuals who contract meningi meningitis don't die, they can be um, f fairly physically damaged. The university does allow a few exceptions. Students who object due to personal conscience or religious beliefs may sign an affidavit and seek a waiver. Also, physicians may decide against administering the vaccine if they determine it might be detrimental to a student's health. Residents are receptive to the new state law. I think it's a good thing because people can die and I've actually had a friend that's died from it. ResLife has started to send out emails and make phone calls for incoming students for the spring semester. But for the fall, a flyer explaining the rules will be contained in the packet like this with the housing contract. For Bobcat Update, I'm Ansel Hildebrand. Oh, I've been studying for hours and this still doesn't make sense. I'm never going to be able to write a paper on this. It's going to take a miracle. If this looks like you, then you need the Student Learning Assistance Center, or SLAC. SLAC is located on the fourth floor of the Alkeck Library and is open to all Texas State students free of charge. SLAC offers one-on-one -on -one tutoring in a variety of subjects including math, writing, science, and foreign languages. SLAC's mission is to help students improve their grades, confidence, and study habits. SLAC also provides supplemental group instruction sessions that assist students in traditionally difficult courses. Are you stuck at home and frustrated with your work? SLAC's website is loaded with handouts and study materials, and you can even submit your papers to the online writing lab for editing and review. It doesn't take a miracle to make good grades. All it takes is SLAC. For more information, visit txstate.edu slash SLAC. Recent rains have prompted the city to lift stage two water restrictions. Now we are under stage one restrictions, which means you can water your lawn once one day a week. However, hand watering is permitted at any time. Stage one also means you can wash your car anytime at a public car wash, but only once a week at your home. The recent rains have helped, but San Marcos is still 6.7 feet below the average rainfall for October.